everybody, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Today we have a very bright, very colorful William Byron Exalta Primary Paint Scheme. The paint scheme that went away and magically came back. Yes, not sure how that worked, but regardless, we've got a diecast for it, guys, and it is bright, it is day glow. Let's go ahead and check it out. Alrighty, folks, we're at the good old box, and of course, this review is brought to you by our friends over there in Circle B Diecast, guys. Got this one over there, this beautiful, bright day glow with the chrome style wheels. Whoo, this is a hot looking car, yo. Got this one over there at Circle B Diecast. You can too if it's still in stock, and uh, for all your pre orders, current in stock merchandise, you can save on shipping, guys, for any orders $30 more. You can save on shipping with the code Diecast Buffet. Make sure to check that out, guys. For all these cats who do use it, remember, you are freaking awesome. This car is bright. Wow. Uh, I tell you what, if you took this car to like your backyard or your front yard in the bright summertime sunshine, oh my goodness, is this thing gonna pop? I mean, this is th this is true like '90s Jeff Gordon red orange fluorescent. Love it. Uh, the green and the blue might not be fluorescent, but that yellow and that red orange is. They got Exalta right there on the hood. I do wish they would change their Exalta logo. Maybe because I'm still a homer for the for the Dupont logo, but I just I've never liked this logo. I don't know. I just like the Dupont one so much more. <laughs> so you got the 24 right there. Uh, get Hendrick Motorsports. Look at all the colors right there, guys. That is that is menacing, especially if you just get a lot like a little bit of a glimpse at those chrome wheels. That is a good-looking race car. I uh, get Sunoco on both of the corner panels. Go to the left side of the die cast. So my, my um, inaugural view of this car was through the test die cast they made, the 164 test car, which we covered here on the channel. And the car looks fantastic with the metal numbers uh, with this paint scheme. It looks fantastic. Like To me, this paint scheme suits a next-gen car more than a Gen 6 car. And I tell you, it, the way they kind of angled the 24... Or actually, the 24 is flat, right? But these, uh, I guess you can call them canards or wings, if you will, with the Exalta logo. It's kind of curved. And if you can see how, like, the back of the car is higher than the front, it just flows. It looks really, really nice. And these, these chrome-style wheels, which, it's really weird. Like, some of these wheels are painted very accurately. Like, I've looked over them with a light, and there's, like, no imperfections. And then some of these are just, they're, it's, it's just obliterated. These actually look pretty good from what I could see. Uh, you do have a little bit of a decal oopsie do there. We got Hendrick, HendrickCars.com on Willie B's car. That's interesting. <laughs> you got Valvoline, William Byron, a little bit of a goofy outlining there, unfortunately. I uh, get, uh, what is it, Akron's Exalta Cincinnati Industries, Freight Liner, Mac Tools, Simeons. I did wish there was some decals down here, you know, where they could have just put like Liberty or something. Um, instead of just putting it right here, maybe put something here. I don't know. Maybe put Valvoline. But instead of doing the circle joint, just put, like, Valvoline, like, the wording of it. I think that would have looked really nice. It's a little bit plain, but regardless, it's a cool-looking paint scheme. Uh, American Ethanol. Go to the back end of the car here. And uh, the cool thing about the, the darker-colored paint schemes, you could really see the, the spoiler detail. I like that. Exalted.com. Camaro. Uh, the car does kind of have a, a glossy satin finish kind of hard to describe it it's not textured but you could definitely tell like by that sheen on the back end of the car the actual it's it's painted black you can see it has kind of a semi-gloss uh style to it which i really like i got valvoline there z01 camaro let's go to the right side of this car i i really do think this paint scheme looks best on a next gen car i i gotta be honest with you, like I, i'm thinking of the gen 6 car and the body lines of it and how the paint scheme flows the way they did the Exalta with the wings and having it kind of just angled down, I tell you what, it looks so much better, in my honest opinion. It just it's it fits this this mold better. And what if what if we're just gonna just you know try to pull a rabbit out of the hat here and say what if they designed this paint scheme with the next gen car in mind and they just said you know what let's just throw it in the Gen Six because we were not even supposed to run them in 2021. <laughs> like what if that was the actual plan for this? I have no idea, but like what if? Also, you can see a little bit of a, uh, what is that, a cobweb? No, it's a decal film. Uh, go to the roof of the car. Got a big 24. I like that. I do wish the door number 24 was just a fraction bigger. I really would have liked to see that. You can tell with the dual numbers or you know, the two number um, door location. I really wish they would have made them just a little bit bigger. Like if it's the number nine, it looks fine because it's, it's a single digit. But the two digit numbers, they're a little bit small. You can see that on Christopher Bell's Toyota Camry. Uh, Exalta.com right there on the roof. It's 
pretty retro to see a dot-com logo on a die cast. Definitely reminds me of the Winston Cup era. Uh, nowadays, it's all hashtags and whatnot. Uh, Byron, Exalta, once again. i got to say, guys, if you were on the fence about the Gen 6 version of this die cast, i, I got to say, the, the, the Gen 7 version of this paint scheme, it, it's upgrade. It really is. It looks so much better on the new die cast mold. Uh, the body lines of the car really complement this paint scheme. It still has the bright uh, day glow style decals to it. You, we've seen the Alumar paint scheme for Chase Elliott, and they made the car so much darker. It, it just it doesn't even look good, right? But they kept the same opacity with this paint scheme, and to me that is very vital. Like if this car just has a plain Jane red and yellow, and it's not day glow, the paint scheme it's it, it doesn't bear much fruit. But the fact that it has that that true Jeff Gordon kind of retro uh, day glow vibe to it. Awesome die cast. And the fact that you can get this paint scheme with, uh, you can get the next gen test version that has the middle number, and then you can get this version is really freaking cool. I, I, I like that a lot. Uh, the wheels, they, they actually appear to be painted pretty well in here. What's interesting about the paint they used is it's very, um, it's very, I don't know affected by shadows like if you look at it from like right here th that right rear looks like there's all kinds of spots they didn't touch up on but if you as soon as you get it up on the light we'll zoom in here and we'll test this theory it, it will look like it's fully painted so like you see that right there it looks like it is completely painted but once you get it like in a shadow look like this you start seeing all the shadows you're like oh they, they screwed up no they actually fully painted it and I think a problem that is, uh, arose from this is when they do the stock images, like you see on the websites, like where it has the box behind it and like this, the way they have their lights, it makes the wheels look like they're not fully painted, which is inaccurate. They're actually, a lot of these cars that I'm seeing, especially the, the, the most recent production runs, the wheels are actually accurately painted, which I have to give them props because I've seen some of them and they were completely butchered, so... Um, perhaps they, they just, you know, maybe they increase their quality on it. It's a whole new process. It's a whole new, you know, wheel and painting, you know, system. They've been using the same wheels for die cast for, you know, or I should say similar wheels for the past three decades. So I can understand a little bit of, um, some trial and error, but, uh, regardless, this, this is a good looking car, guys. Got to get it if you can, uh, pick it up at the gold series. The gen six version of this car, the normal plain Jane edition from 2021, actually starting to dry up which is pretty um pretty random for a primary paint scheme but my goodness is this car hot yo i mean just look at that that is incredible i'm probably going to give it a 9.3 out of 10 the next gen car uh body suits this paint scheme so well it is bright it's got chrome wheels you got to get it guys thank you all so much for watching the video if you can please give it a huge thumbs up we get more uh die cast review here on the channel i actually got one more William Byron diecast in the studio. I know a lot of people like this car. The Liberty University paint scheme with those beautiful chrome wheels. We'll be checking out that uh, out that diecast very, very soon. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thank you all again for watching. Have a great one. Diecast Buffet. Signing off.